Good morning everyone, it's Kelly here, and today we are going to be talking about the topic of human rights. And we are specifically going to look at our human rights topic for the month of July. There's actually two of them, which are you have the right to express yourself, be heard, and be informed about world events. And you have the right to choose whether your picture, photograph, or other identifiable information is used in the media. And so we wanted to take the time today to review each of those human rights and what they mean to us. So first, let's look at you have the right to express yourself, be heard, and be informed about world events. So to express yourself is to say or show your thoughts about and feelings about someone or something. And so last month we reviewed the topic of advocacy where we are publicly supporting an idea or a cause. So we can express ourselves about matters that affect us, but also matters that affect other people. Sometimes it can be difficult to express ourselves, especially when we're feeling like really intense emotions. You know, a t- intense emotion can be something like intense sadness, intense frustration, but we can also feel intense happiness too, where it might be difficult to express what we are feeling. And so during these instances, it can be helpful to either write down your thoughts and feelings or to talk to someone you trust who can help you. Now, when we are expressing ourselves, we want to talk respectfully, we want to talk calmly, we want to give good eye contact so we're avoiding distractions, and we want to be ready to listen. Now, when we think about being heard, somebody is more likely to be able to listen to us if we are expressing ourselves in that way. So when we talk about being heard, we are talking about someone not only hearing what we're saying, but also understanding the importance of of the matter to us. So, um, you know, it's it can be easy to just say, oh yeah, I hear what you're saying. But when somebody really understands what we're saying or takes the time to really listen, that's how we know that someone is really hearing us. And so if we feel somebody's not listening, you know, maybe they're looking at their phone, looking up at the sky, maybe they're watching TV, you know, it can be helpful for us to calmly ask for the person's full attention. So you can do this by saying, you know, hey, would you mind, like, stop looking at that for a minute, just so you can listen to me or hear me out. Um, We can calmly say, you know, do you understand what I'm talking about? Um, You can say, what are your thoughts about what I said? Because that makes the person really have to think about what they heard. And then if you really still feel like the person is not listening, not understanding you, you can ask to talk to the person at another time, you know, and you can also talk to somebody that you trust about the issue and say like, is there anything else you think that I should do or any other ways I can communicate? Now, when we are talking about world events, which is the next part of this human right, it takes us being intentional about it. So I have to say that I'm somebody that at times doesn't like to learn about world events because a lot of times world events are very negative, right? And um, the news is negative. And so sometimes I can say to myself, well, I just don't want to learn about those things. But it is really important to be informed about what is going on in the world because there are things that are affecting other people and then there are also things that can affect us down the line too. And so, you know, it can be really easy to find current events anywhere. We can find them online, on the internet. We can find current events on the television, in newspapers, in magazines. I mean, it's everywhere. Um, And it can be easy to only be interested in current events that affect our own communities. But it's really important to be open and willing to be looking at the events that are happening around the world. You know, because when we talk about things like advocacy, there may be ways that we can advocate for the needs of others around the world. Now, the next human right that we want to look at is you have the right to choose whether your picture, photograph, or other identifiable information is used in the media. And so pictures and photos can be taken for a variety of reasons. 
we've also done some videos over the years too you know so we might use these things on our facebook page we've um you know highlighted things that we do in our programs maybe for like virtual tours we've also done videos and pictures for legislators to help them to understand the importance of our programs and what's important to us um, and then we've also shared our thoughts with the community and so we have a release form that needs to be completed by people before we can use your picture and so if you have a guardian this form will also need to be signed by your guardian as well and the purpose of this is to be a safeguard for you, you know, so that you don't have your picture or video or other identifiable information used without your permission. So as always, it's just really important for us to know our rights and the responsibility that comes with each one. We provided you guys with our human rights training tool that goes over all the human rights that we review. And so it's good to just take a look at that. I'll let that truck go by. <laughs> you guys can hear it's a busy day around here today between the airplanes, the trucks, the birds. <laughs> it's busy. But we would really encourage you guys to, um, to just be knowing your rights, you know, and remembering that there's responsibility that comes with each. So if you have questions about human rights, questions about anything in your life, we'd really encourage you to, to tell someone that you trust who can help you with it. So we hope that you guys enjoy all the activities we posted today. Um, we gave you as a worksheet about current events where you can, you know, look for an article or um, headline and just kind of learn more about it. You know, talk about what it's about, why it's an important issue. Um, so we'd really encourage you all to take a look at that today. And I hope that you all have a great day.